Hey everyone and welcome to another video and today I'll be testing the XDefined open beta on this Zotac RTX 3060 Twin Edge OC. Over here on Tech Power Up GPU Z, you can see we have the 3060 Ti installed on our system. We have 8 gigabytes of VRAM and it is a GDDR6 Hynix variant, not the GDDR6X. We have a resizable bar enabled on the BIOS. So that's it for the GPU part. And over here we have paired it up with our good i7-13700. KF at 5.3 gigahertz on the P cores and, and 4.2 on the E cores. And over here we have 32 gigabytes of DDR5 G scale treated Z memory at 6000 megahertz CL36. And over here on MSI Afterburner we have no overclock supplied. All Everything is on stock out of the box overclock. We have set fan to 100% manually because one of the fans don't really spin properly on my GPU. It is kind of defective. I have to get it replaced very quickly. So to keep it cool, I have to put it on a 100% fan speed manually. So let's get into Expert Defiant Open Beta and check the frame rates. So here we are guys in the menu of X Defiant and this is the Open Beta. It just started today and it goes on for the next two days from 21st to 23rd unless they decide to extend it. So this game is really amazing. It's a very good FPS arcade shooter game. Let's uh, jump into the video settings and we're gonna test it at 1080p at first on maxed out custom, maxed out settings. So let's turn up VSync. Why is that even on? No frame rate cap. So everything is maxed out. As you can see, object detail 100%. Okay, there's a problem with this game that every time I need to restart, when I change some settings, I need to restart. All right, guys. So we have joined a game at 1080p. On maxed out settings, this is all right. The game hasn't started yet, and we are trying to get out actually. Advance the package to the delivery zone. All right, here we Expect go. Heavy hostile resistance. So we have to escort this robot actually. The game really looks really, really good in this open beta. I played the closed beta last time. I wasn't really able to make a video on this GPU, I did on the 3070 Ti. I saw somebody. Oh no! The problem with this game is that I have to restart every time I change some graphical settings. So that is gonna be really, really annoying. We passed the checkpoint. Oh man, I'm so far behind. So the game plays really well. This is the maxed out settings, not ultra. I'm gonna test it on the ultra preset after this and this game is actually very refreshing it's a very good arcade shooter we really don't have these days any good arcade shooters all of duty was like the only thing which was available advance the package agent but call of duty is actually dying out now they don't do anything they don't listen to the fans and their game is just dying out. Everything is so repetitive and boring in that game. Such a lack of content and features that game has. It doesn't interest me. And so far I couldn't get a single kill. You know? Alright guys, so we're gonna change settings now. And it's probably gonna ask me to restart. Alright guys, so we are on 1080p on ultra preset. It says custom only because I turned off V-Sync. It turns on v sync by default so Enemy turn package it off. nearing checkpoint. Stop it. We are on the ultra preset. Getting Enemy around 165. Oopsie. Come on. Take this on game really Stop feels so package. smooth. The mouse movement is also very, very smooth. The aiming and stuff. They have improved it quite a lot in this closed beta from the, the uh, sorry, in the open beta. <laughs> From the closed beta. Drag out. How did that guy survive? Barrier up. Multiple tangles new. That was right on time. Retaliation. I saw that guy. Oh no, really loving this game, it's, it's much much better than Call of Duty at this point. 
I really need ammo. I'm low on ammo. I'm just stuck in this one place. Let's push a little bit. Or let it be high, okay? It'll be at high preset. And we'll turn off V-Sync as usual. And as you can see, the game crashed. Capture zone is moving. So we are into another game now. So I have set this uh, graphic settings to low preset, and I just have turned off VSync. That's why it shows custom, but it's just on low preset. And I have DX12. Uh, I'm using DX12 renderer, and this time I'm using a shotgun class. Look at the frame rate, dude! Like 360 frames. That is insane. That frame rate is insane. You can literally use a. You can literally use a 360 hertz monitor in this game. I really enjoyed using the shotgun in the close beta. Oh no 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 no! God damn it! <laughs> This game is so much fun and refreshing after playing so much Call of Duty over the years. There was like literally no other game to play in terms of arcade shooter. And Call of Duty actually, especially the Modern Warfare series, it is actually a little bit on the realistic side. Whereas this game is very arcadey. Even more arcadey than Black Ops is. Black Ops for the world. What the hell? What was that sliding? Infinite sliding. Gotcha, kill. Go up. Oh yeah, I, I love this shotgun. Just look at this shotgun. Oh my goodness, what was that ability? There is a little bit lag on uh, respawning. It was even there while. Uh... This lag was even there in the close beta, you know. Alright, guys, we're gonna now switch the resolution to 1440p. Alright, guys, so we are now at 1440p on maxed settings, which is custom. I have turned up everything to maximum. So, as you can see, we are getting around 100 frames, 90. Let's go outside and find out. Capture zone contested. I expect it's gonna be around the 80s and 90s. We are already, we are pretty much nearby. 
hundred, which is really good. That's a homicide. No, no, no! I forgot the spider drone. Actually, I should have used that. Yeah, the frame rate kind of drops when you respawn. Doesn't matter where you are at that time. Unlocked a new capture zone. Consider defending it. I'm really having fun in this game. The best part of this game is free to play, and if this game succeeds, which I think it it is really go going to succeed, Ubisoft is gonna make a lot of money with this, just like they did with Rainbow Six Siege. Holy shit! Need some allies, dude. Why am I alone? So you can play this game at 2K easily with the 3060 Ti. The enemy has unlocked the final capture zones. Last zone, keep it safe. We're taking zone. All right, we are at 2K 1440p on ultra preset with VSync turned off. That's why it says custom over there. Everything else is pretty much on the ultra preset. So this map is from Splinter Cell, one of my favorite franchises. I love Sam Fisher, and I got my custom class now. The zone is ours now. I think my ping is a little bit high in this match. There's a slight delay. Zone contested. The enemy is taking zone A. Or I don't know if it's that if that's a bug while throwing that uh, mine. Oh my goodness, they have a whole squad in there. Ah, enemy I really can't aim with this gun. It's the ACR. So we're getting around 90 frames as well, 100 frames. Yeah, this map is not for assault rifles. Enemy and one thing I really miss in this game from Call of Duty are kill streaks, score streaks. I would really love to have score streaks in this game. At least a different mode where you can earn. What server this is? Okay guys, that, that is gonna be it for ultra settings. So now we are at 1440p on a high preset. Secured. As you can see, everything is on the high preset options. By default, I haven't changed anything except P-Sync off. Uh, we are getting on this map around 120 frames per second. Oh, that's a bouncing betty I have. Yeah, I'm not good at good at this game. Trust me. I haven't. I don't play much uh, of FPS games these days. I used to play COD a lot back then, and now it's not my thing anymore. I have retired from FPS. I just play it casually here and there when I get free time. That's why I can't even finish oh, my battle pass on Call of Duty these days. So there's not much VRAM usage in this game. It's pretty decent. We got the zone. Oh come on. Enemy zombie. Light up. There's not much place to take cover from this side, that area. Let me know guys about this game, what do you think? This game is actually known as Scott Killer, if you don't, if you didn't know. Remove 
The maps really look good in this game. They're all inspired from Ubisoft games, all these maps. Okay, okay so now we are at 1440p on the low pr graphics preset. We're As you can see, everything out. is set to low. And we are on a... Uh, I don't know, I think out. this map is from uh, The Division. It's called the Dumbo in this game. <laughs> Such a weird name. The MP7 is really, really good. Game. Captain Zone on the move. We're in the zone. They're on the zone. And this game is uh, this game mode is hardpoint from Call of Duty. So we're getting around 200 frames, 1440p low. Where are these people? So guys, let me know in the comments what do you think about this game. All right. Are you gonna be playing this game instead of Call of Duty if you play COD? Also, this one's on the line. We're in the go. Captain's uncontested. Also, uh, is this game gonna replace Call of Duty? What do you think? Is this game gonna drop COD population, player count? I think it obviously will. But the thing which I want to see is that does Call of Duty improve by seeing this game? That recoil though. Alright guys, so I think this is gonna be it for this video. So if you enjoyed this and if this video helped you, kindly drop a like and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Until then, bye, peace, take care.